We'll move on then to the place where I actually was uh, at this time. I'll tell you a little story about this. Madison Square Garden when you faced Triple H right. and you lost the mask. Right. Um, I'm stood out there, stupid English guy, at the front. <laughs> and the, I haven't got any tickets for Raw whatsoever. I'm, like, I'm, in, I'm in New York. I've got to go see Raw. I'm there. The guy's uh, touting tickets out the front for, for everything. I said, have you got WWE tickets for tonight? Yeah, I, I, can, get you, I can get you front row. Brilliant. How much are they? I'll do them for a thousand bucks. Oh, my All right. And I'm like, I'm like, front row, yeah, brilliant. Right, he follows me to the cash machine, go to the ATM, I'm getting the thousand dollars, give him the money. He says, wait there, I'll be back in ten minutes. Never came back. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I ended Don't up give someone a thousand dollars, especially in New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I ended up buying some forty dollar tickets and sitting right in the skies. But the mask came off that night. I mean, was, was that a thing in your head? Because, you know, we've been building up and building up to it for like a few years. Mm -hmm. But, it, you know, we never knew if we were going to get it. Right. Because I remember watching um, a bit of Jim Cornette and a bit of Paul Bearer talk about it at the time. Going, you can't take the mask off, Kane. No, I don't think so at all. Uh, I was very confident that I was going to be able to pull it off. Uh, when I had the mask on, uh, I think that made me a much better performer. Because I had to, uh, you know, elicit emotion by using body language. And, uh, and that's how I would have to get across things to the audience, right? So I knew because of that, you know, that once I took the mask off, uh, I would also be able to use my face. Yeah. So I thought that would make me that much better. And, uh, you know, I, I had complete confidence. In fact, they weren't the only people. Yeah. I think the only people that really, really were behind the idea uh, were myself and the other guy that mattered, Vince. Yeah. yeah. Um, everybody else was sort of with the mind of, well, it's not broke, so don't fix it. But, uh, you know, we both, both knew that, that, uh, that I could do it. And also, at that point, I, you know, people were like, you know, man, you're really great, especially under the mask, right? And I was starting to feel like I was really great, dis not, you know, great, but I was a good performer almost despite of the mask, you know, yeah. despite being under the mask. So uh, I, I wanted to do it, and, uh, you know, because I felt that the character had was becoming stale and needed to change and needed to be freshened up. And, yeah, it opened a completely different door for me. Because, uh, obviously, most wrestling fans would have quite easily gone on the Internet and found out what you looked like. I knew what you looked like. Right. But it was still like, is he going to take it off? So that was, right. you know, you know that, was, that was the thing. The same way as, as Ray, you know, taking the mask off. Right. You know, he wrestled in WCW without his mask. But right. it's, sti it's still the thing there. You, you know, it's like, is he going to lose his mask? Right, it's right. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I mean, it's just, you know, a little bit of a different context. If we have a look, because you had, you know, a bit of hair, you were, you were burnt, and then the, those scars became psychological. And right. This, this confused me a little bit at the time. Uh, as far as, I'm as, sorry. As far as you, you, you were burnt, the, you know, the black on your face. Well, and the black was just makeup. Yeah. That wasn't, yeah, that wasn't a burn. And, yeah. And the idea all along was was that the scars were psychological, which to me made the uh, you know made Kane that much more messed up because you know if uh, if the scars were real and then he put on a mask you could understand that. Yeah. But he really is a monster psychologically if the scars were never there, but he thought they were there and his, it was his own self image which had been distorted. Obviously they couldn't literally burn you or put you on well, every no. day. No, or every day to wrestle. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. Inferno matches. <laughs> but, but yeah, one, I haven't yeah, burned. <laughs> one of the things I remember at the time, it's one of those moments where you just really hate wrestling that I'd bought into this idea of this character as Kane and he's so ugly and he's so disfigured and that's why he can't show his face. Right. And then at that moment, oh look, he's alright, he's just got a bit of dirt. Are you, fl <laughs> yeah. are you flirting here? No. <laughs> well, and, and certainly it could go that way, but I also think that, that people would go, we've been told all this stuff, and it's not that way. Everybody's going to have their different interpretation of the way they 